Yes, man. How are you? Good, so we just found you at the Grove. What are you doing here? I'm um, having lunch with a good friend and about to see a movie and just doing a little bit of therapy shopping. You're shopping? So what do you like about Abercrombie & Fitch? I like that very settled college kind of feel. Maybe I'm trying to relive the, my youth or something like that. I never really went to college, but I love college boys. Is that true? Because, I mean, you're very smart. You look like you actually went well, to college. I'm a college dropout, I guess. I, I do go to school, but on not, not on a regular basis. Just different courses here and there. Okay. Are you a fashionista? Am I a fashionista? You yeah. Know, right? When you grow up with the gay community, you can't. You, you just have to be. Really? Yes. Who's your fashion icon? My fashion icon. Hmm. I'm saying. I love Lady Gaga for her crazy, just I don't give a fuck. She was born attitude. that way. She was, yeah, she was born that way. <laughs> um, you're talking about fashion designers, who do I love? I mean, I love Dolce Gabbana with their great, gorgeous, feminine cutout. Um, Alexander McQueen. Alexander and McQueen. Little crazy patterns, I love those. Okay. And now, what do you normally do for fun, like, besides going to the movies on a Sunday? I have sex a lot. I just stay home and I just have sex. Well, I didn't hear that. <laughs> no, I'm um, What do you do for fun, like, I like, a... I like camping. I do. I like camping. I love outdoors. I'm a very sporty girl. And I like being with my friends. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do. A lot of times, as long as you're in good company. Now, what's going on with a hangover fam? Like, I mean, do you get approached by a lot of people? Like, they love what you they, did in I the I did, surprisingly, because the, my, my scene was so short, but I guess apparently very significant and just just bombarded by fans and friends and people just going crazy and wild for it. I'm very excited. It's pretty awesome. Now, if they ever ask you to do like, to do it again in, like, Hangover 3, would you do it? Of course. Are you kidding me? Yes. Yes. Tell me who I need to kiss ass. I will. Of course I will. And now, if they put you in Hangover 3, what exactly do you want to do in Hangover 3? Like, the same exact role? Like, give us a little bit. Okay. If I was the writer, if, the, if I was the writer, I would say Kimmy should help get Mr. Chow out of jail. In return, he's going to help her get to America so she can stalk Stu because she couldn't forget about that moment either and she, she feels that Stu belongs to her and should be with her. Okay, so let me get this straight. So, so Kimi get her green card. Yeah, okay. So Kimi and Mr. Chow are like really cool. They should be, of course, right? Okay. I mean, we, we're we're, ba we're basing everything on stereotypes. I mean, they're Asians. They stick together. That's so Mr. Asian Mr. Role. Chow is the man. Like he knows all the good Americans. Mr. That Chow up. Ming is the bro. He's the man. He's the man. Yes. Okay. So now let me ask you. Like, if people come to you and they, do they ever say? Did you really, really play Kimmy, or is you just playing Kimmy? A lot, Kimi? A lot oh, of you people Kimi. think it's prosthetics, yeah. It's, okay. Yeah, but, hey, I don't hesitate to tell the truth, I am who I is. Now, I hear you're trying to start a clothing line or something like that? You know, and I, I, so since I was little, I'm always about putting things and creating things, so never know where it goes. All right, all right, go do your little shopping. Hey, one more. Now, you being who you are, you know, what do you think about Tracy Morgan and the whole rant against the gays in his comedy? I don't know if you've heard about it, or uh, read about it. You know what it is? Sometimes you're just going to have to laugh about everything. I mean, you know, we make jokes about life, about, about ignorance, about everything. I, I just laugh. I guess at the end of the day, if it stirs up enough controversies, the people with the right mind, with the right attitude will step up and, and say what needs to be said for, for us to move on, you know? There would have never been a civil war if there wasn't a black slave. You know, shit needs to go down before it looks up. So, I mean, Tracy Morgan, from what I hear, is not homophobic. He just happened to make a mistake in his comedy. He apologized you know, if, about if, it. If, if, if she did make a mistake, then I believe in, you know, forgiving someone and... As long as she knows that she was wrong and she apologized. It's actually that, a he. He's a comedian. Oh, yeah. Well, he, she. Tris, yeah, he's a he. <laughs> I just heard about it. Yeah. He's a very famous comedian. He's on a show called Thirty Rock. 
on yes. NBC. Yeah, he's and he he normally actually plays a lot of like he dresses up like gay and all his movie roles. So that tells me that maybe he made a mistake. Comedy sometimes can get you in trouble. It's a borderline. Yeah, you know, it's a very 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 fine line. I mean, I I'm into. I was at the comedy store and one of the comedian, you know, didn't know who I was. Well, I was with a bunch of friends, not all of us were passable. And literally straight to us, like, you know, are you guys men? I was like, excuse me, I'm like, why would you even say that? I mean, there's a fine line in comedy where you can, for example, you can make black jokes, but you don't call a black man the N-word to his name. Yeah, you know, you make stereotypical black jokes and yeah. that's fine or stereotypical Asian jokes or stereotypical gay jokes but you don't attack them verbally with certain assault words. You've made the right point. Now are you on Twitter? How can fans find you? My Twitter is so twitter twitter.com slash T S Yasmin Lee. Okay, are you on Facebook? Facebook is Yasmin Lee so you can look me up and just follow me and I my life is an open book. You can follow me if you want. All right, it's a pleasure talking to you, man. Enjoy the rest of your shopping, and it's great talking to you.